one of the interesting things about the book is that it's been very widely read, thankfully, within the game. Yes. And a lot of the managers themselves um, have, have contacted me saying, look, yeah, this is, this is it. It's authentic. It's raw. You understand who we are now. You understand well, why we do so it. you so well to get that much access with that many. Yeah. It's just a, it's a question of asking, sometimes asking the right questions. Um, but also, I think it's a case of when you go to someone and ask to do a book interview, they understand that a book confers a certain sense of immortality. You've got 100,000 words, you can contextualize issues. It's not the wham bam thank you ma'am of modern media relations. Insane self belief. I think if you look at them, they've got this incurable optimism come desperation of an army which is marching towards inevitable doom into a hail of bullets. And, you know, they think, okay, there isn't a bullet been made with my name on it. But they all know, actually, really, there is one. Um, I think there is a strange profession. And why I wanted to do the book was to humanize what is really a dehumanizing job. It's ineffective. Um, Alan Irving tells a story in the book about Jim Jeffries, where you know, Jim Jeffries was a fantastic Scottish coach, but frankly, you know, there were times when he was out of control emotionally. And he would go around the dressing room and he said, you know, he'd start off and work himself up into such anger that by halfway around the dressing room, he was completely incoherent. And basically, he said, look, if you've got someone screaming at you there and spitting in your face, you're just thinking, I'll oh, just get it over with. So there's, it doesn't have any, any impact. Uh, you know, Gary Monk's another one in the book. He said, look, when I go into a dressing room, I, talk, I think there's one word, and that's balance. He's got three points that he wants to get across. He said, if I spend six of my ten minutes screaming at someone, one, I can't address those three points. Secondly, how have I helped that guy? I've shown him up in front of his colleagues. He'll go out for the second half, and to try and prove me wrong, will do the same things that he's been doing wrong in the first half, out of his own desperation. He'll be fed up with me. Well, there's nothing constructive in it. And I think you've, you've got it there, Vern, where there is definitely a generational shift, culturally, towards a much more empathetic, almost emotionally intelligent form of management. That's where I think Fergie was, was so uh, ahead of his time that, okay, you know, he could dish out the, the traditional hairdryer treatment, but there was an empathy about him. He understood people. He, he smelt the dressing room. Football is a people business. Now, management is a people business. Unfortunately, it treats people abysmally. It's an unreal world in, in terms of numbers, but the reality of it is, is that they are all as disposable as empty crisp bags.